Today, I have the best pro player class setups. And to make things better, I even have a class that is banned right now because of how good it is. But nonetheless, let's get right into it. So we have a lot to talk about, but let's break down what all the pros are currently using. The aims or aim as however you want to pronounce it. Now, of course, this red dot right here, the micro reflex is just the best one and it feels the best. Probably if you've tried it, you know what I'm talking about. We're going to be rocking the ported compensator for that huge boost in recoil control. We got the reforced barrel just because it gives damage range and bullet velocity. So it's just a W. We got the vertical foregrip for that huge boost in horizontal recoil, which is probably one of the recoil controls that you want because it's hard to control on controller or just in general. We're going to be rocking extended mag one ergonomic grip because a huge boost to the ADS slide to fire speed and dive to fire speed and the balance stock because it gives you a little bit of everything and obviously while you're shooting across the maps or just in getting gunfight strafing and aim walking speed is very nice and the recoil springs for even more recoil control now we are going to be rocking gunfighter on this AR and this AR has everything you need and it's just so dominant and it helps you win more gunfights now for the pistol we are rocking the 9 mmpm this is the one that a lot of them have been using and the ones they like the most i have the ported compensator for this one a reinforced barrel a fast mags one ergonomic grip and the overpressure round for bullet velocity it's going to be a you know a friendly gun for you to use whenever you need to use it as you can see it's still pretty good obviously with a pistol you can kind of push finish off a kill this ar shoots very straight and it's very strong as you can see we're gonna also be rocking a concussion because that is all that is allowed in a frag grenade i do like frags on ars but except if you're playing respawn semtexes are not bad at all trophy system of course ninja fast hands and double time pretty much we're going to be seeing for the most part in the perks so this is kind of the standard in perks and equipment and stuff so let's get right down to another class setup so this is going to be the aims but with five attachments versus with the gunfighter I am going to be rocking perk greed and having flak jacket. Now, obviously, this is good for staying alive in search and destroy mainly, and it could be good in respawn as well if you don't if you're getting needed too much. And for this class, just taking off some attachments, we're going to be rocking the micro reflex, the ported compensator, the reinforced barrel, the vertical foregrip again because a huge boost into horizontal recoil control, which is very nice. Instead of the ergonomic, we're going to be rocking the commando grip because it gives you a boost to ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, which is also very nice when engaging in gunfights. Now, this class also feels very nice and the recoil control is still pretty damn good. It's not like you lose too much recoil control, as you can see. And the ADS speed and sprint fire speed, you lose a little bit of ammo, but 30 bullets, I mean, it's still enough to take care of business. Now, let's move on to the PP. Now, I do have some Jackal classes I want to show you guys. And the PP is like has more range and it's like it's like a better overall gun. The Jackal is like better up close. That's the best way to describe the two. So let's get break this one down. So we do got a five attachment PP and most subs here. You're going to see our five attachments. We got the ported compensator for the huge boost to horizontal, vertical, and first shot recoil control. So that's a huge dub on the subs. We got the good old reinforced barrel. Just a great attachment to have on almost any gun. We're going to be rocking the fast mags too. Now the PP in general has like 64 bullets. This brings it down to 40, which is still a lot of ammo, but you get a boost to ADS speed, split to fire, and you reload quicker, which is very nice ergonomic grip which is one of the best ones to use cqb cqb is also good but the ads for uh sight speed is just really nice and we're gonna be rocking the no stock for huge boost in movement speed and strafing speed balance stock is also a really good attachment if you are filling that one so this is the five attachment pp same pistol knife trophy frag concussion again for usually for subs even you want to run a semtex and we're gonna be rocking perk read and of course ninja fast hands double time and then you want to put on flag jacket now we all know in respawn search destroy usually you're playing the objective you're constantly getting aided you're constantly you know people are trying to nade you out or take you out on the hill so flag jacket just really good on smgs you can also even put attack mask but you know would you rather die you know get one shot by a nade or get stunned and live potentially so that's why people usually run flag jacket now for this next class it's the pp once again but a slightly different build so right here, this is going to be poor to compensator. I apologize for that. We're going to be rocking this thing because it's a no brainer. Reinforced barrel, no brainer. Ergonomic grip, like we talked about, beautiful. Instead of no stock, we're going to be rocking balance stock and the good old recoil springs. Again, huge boost to recoil control. Now, I didn't really show you the first PP, but I can show you this one right quick. 
as you can see the recoil control on this is very nice the range feels good it's going to be a little bit better in, in terms of range compared to the first one i showed you just because it has a little bit more recoil control the downside is it has a little bit less mobility the fast max 2 obviously very nice on the weapon but it's still good still ads is fast now you just saw that pp yes it sounds funny saying that <laughs> have insane range the jackal doesn't have that same range but you know it's still decent at range let's talk about this gun this gun's gonna be better up close and if you're a more aggressive sub and you're trying to get up in the grill it's gonna be the one for you so we're gonna be rocking compensator instead of ported compensator because as you can see for this one it doesn't have that boost to horizontal so compensator is just fine if you want to use a ported compensator you can we're gonna be rocking the reinforced barrel a little bit weaker in terms of damage range but still gives you bullet velocity and damage range uh, the gain twist barrel is also really good if you just want a huge boost to bullet velocity. Ranger foregrip for that huge for that increase in horizontal recoil, plus it makes you sprint a little faster. The CQB grip again, we're going to be getting a little bit more aggressive. We're going to be running more sprint. The fire speed is a little bit better in that aspect, so we're going to be rocking the CQB grip and then the no stock. This is going to be a very fast, aggressive jackal build, and it's still going to be really good from close to medium. As you can see, I can still control the recoil, you know, pretty damn well. But obviously, when it comes to like those longer range shots, anything past 25 meters, like the like how the the um, the PP, I can still you know kill people and shoot them. But it's just going to be a little bit more difficult. But overall, still a very freaking good gun. And here we go. We have another Jackal class. And of course, we're going to be rocking Perk Reed on all our subs for now. Now, this one is a slightly different one. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think the Jackal is better for a more SMG type of play style. So always remember that. We're gonna be rocking the compensator, reinforced barrel, very similar in those two aspects because those are really good. No under barrel. Start. We're gonna be rocking their ergonomic grip, balanced stock, and the good old recoil springs. Some boost, the horizontal, and vertical recoil control. Now this one might feel a little bit different, a little bit more like in terms of like better range, I guess you can say. Uh, but it's gonna be ever so slightly different. You can try both of the builds, see which one you like more. It's not bad. Next, let's go to a gun that pro players have GA'd, aka banned, because it's that freaking good. We're going to be talking about the Model L. Now, if you use this gun, you already know how dominant this gun can be. We're going to be rocking Gunfighter for this first build. Now, we got the good old Micro Reflex. We got the good old Porter Compensator because this attachment is just great. We got the Reinforced Barrel for the boost, the bullet velocity, and damage range. Vertical Foregrip, Horizontal, Extended Mag 1 because fast mags one is kind of nice but you just have 25 bullets might as well run the 40 bullets commando grip for the boost in ads and sprint the fire speed if you're feeling cracked out you could run the cqb or the ergonomic uh it just has an ar you feel like you know you're not constantly sliding like that so this one's really nice uh balance stock for the boost of strafing and recoil springs so this with these attachments you the model l becomes like superman becomes like a superhero right so very low recoil I mean, TTK, you can just see from range, feels absolutely incredible. This gun was banned by pros for a reason. I mean, this gun is very dominant. You can see in one clip, I'm eliminating all four targets. Very easy. No, 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 not much problem with the recoil control at all. Even that one at range, it's dying instantly. So definitely try this out. This can be used for pubs, for fun. If you want to use it against your friends, if you want to just dominate. But, you know, in the future, we might see it banned. Next is going to be a Model L. Again, same idea. Instead of Gunfighter, we're going to be rocking Perk Reed. So five attachments, Model L. Now, this thing is so obviously going to be dominant. We got the Micro Reflex, the Ported Compensator, the Reinforced Barrel, my, my good old friends here, Commando Grip, and Recoil Springs. Now, these five attachments gets the job done. Still really freaking good. And you're obviously going to still laser. You're still going to fry out this thing. And there's a reason why pros don't want it because a sub and most guns don't stand a chance against this at range. And it still kills very fast up close for bullets. Now let's talk about the GPR 91. This gun is currently being used to some extent. It is a flex AR and it's actually really freaking good and underrated. And you might see more pros use this unless they GA it or they ban it. But until then, or you can just use a class yourself. We're going to be rocking a gunfighter build. And of course, again, you can run a perk read build and change it up how you like using similar attachments. We got the good old micro reflex, the ported compensator, the re re reinforced barrel, the two best friends. Uh, we got the ranger foregrip, 
Again, this is going to be like a flex. So you want that sprint to fire uh, sprinting movement speed. You want to get a little bit faster, a little bit more movement. I send the mags one just because the fast mags one, it feels like the ammo runs by too quick. We can rock the CQB grip for the sprint to fire speed plus the extra stuff. Balance stock. This actually gets a huge boost compared to some of the other guns. Two to uh, aim walking, movement speed, hit fire, and strafing. And then the recoil springs two to two, horizontal and vertical. So this is like a flex AR. It's like a, between a sub and AR if you don't know what a flex is. And it kills very fast. It has good recoil control. So it's not like it's bad at range. And it's very, very strong. And I think it just has a high fire rate in general. It can reload this thing. So this is something I would recommend for you to use. And you probably love this class. It's good for pubs. Good for you to dominate. And if you don't want to use like a, a AMS or aims, and you want like kind of like a, a middle ground, this is really good to help you fry. You know, it's still got some range to it too. Bang. And of course, we got the good old sniper. I'm going to share with you my build. This is what most of the pros have been using. I like this build a lot. It feels nice feels sharp so we're going to be using the og optic site obviously there's other sites you can use the og just feels nice and you can also run a five attachment sniper you don't necessarily need the prime fighter the the gunfighter i just like it because you get more attachments on it and you know but per greed with flag jacket on a sniper not a bad idea at all so you can you can adjust these attachments if you do end up putting that like you don't need the fast mags you know you can remove like combat stock or something to get rid of two attachments nonetheless let's get into it muzzle break beautiful attachment for the sniper we got the reinforced barrel no brainer precision pad good for the horizontal plus at least id idle sway as you're sniping fast max one low boost sprint to fire and ads speed you don't need a huge clip commando ads speed sprint to fire speed lovely on a sniper combat stock i really like this one because you get a little bit of movement walking speed but you get a huge boost to flinch resistance if you snipe before you know the flinch can be really bad on a sniper so a huge boost to flinch resistance is very nice and obviously aim walking movement speed is good for while you're just strafing trying to get that shot out and i use the over pressured not rounds for the huge boost in bullet velocity this is kind of nice but the right thing about rapid fire is you lose a lot and i just don't like it for a sniper so this sniper feels nice feels good but the velocity feels good it's easy to shoot easy to see see my target bam headshot thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it make sure to drop a like it helps the video a lot and i appreciate you so much for supporting this has been your boy apathy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace